Hey everybody, it is April 4th. We're in Daytona Beach. Baseball is back. Back at the Jack, Jackie Robinson ballpark behind me, over to this side. It's a gorgeous day and it'll be a gorgeous night for some baseball. For those that haven't seen our Tortuga videos before, they are the high class A ball club affiliate for the Cincinnati Reds. This is Jackie Robinson ballpark out in Daytona Beach. And they have a brand new playing surface this year. It's all artificial turf. They had a lot of washouts over the last few years because of rain during the summer, but now, it's all like AstroTurf out here. Look at that. They always have awesome deals on food here compared to regular Major League Baseball games. We just met Robert, who invented this rodeo burger. It's a burger, cheese, pulled pork, onion rings, and barbecue sauce. But seriously, there's a bacon mac and cheese dog also. Regular dogs, three bucks. And one of the things that we talked about over and over again last year is back. Mr. Softy. This is pretty cool. Limited edition Jackie Robinson bottle. 42 cents of every bottle is donated to Jackie Robinson Foundation. So this is my seat for opening day. And you guys can say it's viewed from the not so cheap seats, but I gotta be honest. This is a VIP seat. You can't get much better seating here at Jackie Robinson Ballpark. It has waitress service also, but the seat's only 15 bucks. That's the top ticket price. Regular tickets start for the game, general admission, out in the bleachers, seven bucks for kids, nine dollars for adults. Reserve seats, right behind me, about 11 bucks. Check out these prices. Check out how they spray the batter's box onto the dirt. There's one box done. So there is a whole bunch of news that I can tell you about. This new turf that they laid down here once the copyright music passes. Actually, we try to do this a little bit in chunks. I mentioned earlier, oh, there's Sheldon and Shelly. I mentioned earlier about the stadium flooding out so many times in the past before games started. That's not an issue anymore. With this turf, it has about a five inch worth of drainage underneath where the rain can seep through the field and it won't be a problem. And towards the back and center field is where all the water drains out of. Here comes the man, the myth, and the legend. This Tortugas logo that's in here is actually permanent. It's a permanent piece of AstroTurf. And AstroTurf is the brand that they decided to go with to turf the field. It's an actual company, actual brand, very much like when you would normally say Xerox, a piece of paper, and it's normally not a Xerox machine. This is AstroTurf. The other graphics that are on the floor for like opening weekend, that's just spray painted on, and that'll last for about a week or so. Together again. They basically traded in their lawnmower for a machine that will go around and suck up any pieces larger than like dirt or things like that so if anybody spitting seeds from teams on the floor they'll be able to suck that up look at this guy back again super Sheldon so the very limited dirt that they have doesn't necessarily need the same type of upkeep that it would have 
if it was still a natural field. Now keep in mind, if I get any of these details wrong, my buddy that works here is gonna probably correct us in the comments below. And we're starting the day with a couple of Sheldon dogs and some mustard. As these guys get ready to spray paint the turtle graphic on the dirt. Boys and Girls Club getting a huge donation here. They do a lot for the community. That's right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jackie Robinson Ball Club Opening Night 2019. It's now time for our ceremony of first pitches, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. He gets a sign, the lineup, and the pitch. Great job, Dr. Travis. Nicely done. All right, Jacob. Don't show up your back. Facilities District for their help in shooting a brand new artificial playing surface. We are starting in the 2019 season. And what better way to get this 90 vacation started than to get this ballpark open? Cut that road as Carlita May has the official scissors for this one we're coming in as we get started for the 2019 season. And Exchange lineup cards. It should be noted that we're playing the Orlando, or better known as the Florida Fire Frogs. That's a tongue twister. That's our mortal enemies in Orlando. This is as close as a rivalry game that you can get. And it's the opening night. Back number 23, Miles Jordan. the Strike. Is in there? Second pitch resulted in a broken bat. What do you know? It's peanut and beer time. Sheldon is proposing to Shelly. Where else are you going to see this kind of stuff? She's got a heck of a ring. It's been about 10 minutes since the fire frogs were retired in the first inning and we're just waiting here. I'm not sure what's happening. The frogs have not taken the field. Now we've got the owners and general manager out here talking about stuff with the umpires. All right, about 15 minutes later, the frogs taking the field. This is Rob, by the way. He's doing the cold tub challenge. Sitting in. Basically ice. 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 What are you going to win? A t-shirt. It's well worth it? Yes. Rob is the one that designed the hamburger that we showed you before as well. Yeah. So, come to the game, you can win. You can win a Dodge truck if you roll the red dice the right way. Nothing. Middle of the fifth. It's time for karaoke. Oh boy. Sheldon's got a lot of balls. Just throwing them out in the crowd. Whoever gets the ball gets a shirt. And we see the beach balls going up into the crowd. He's not throwing the ball, he's dancing. Take that beach ball down. 
What's going on over here? Sold out crowd here today. Take me out to the crowd. Melody eighth, we've had some action here. Two plays at the plate. One out, and the other one, bad throw, and we scored, so it's one one. Two strikes, the pitch. Oh no. So we're in the top of the ninth inning. The frogs have somebody else sunken. But these guys move down here. They've brought trash jacket to a new level. It's getting in his head, he just looked over at them. He crushed that. Oh! Against the wall. And we're losing. Base is loaded now for the Frogs. Nowhere for the runners to go. One out. 0 oh 2, pitcher's count. Oh no, it's fair. This is a bases clearing uh, triple. Look at this. Yikes. We're down four runs in the ninth inning and we're playing We Will Rock You. Oh boy. And the Frogs take the home opener. Crowd of 10 is a 4,271 tonight. Not too bad. Not that many left now. Well, that didn't end in our favor, but it's okay. It's the first game of the year. It was a lot of fun getting back out here. It is so awesome to go to the Tortugas. It is really like a family. You see a lot of the same people all the time at the game, including the people that work, whether it's the people that are working concessions or people that are working as ushers or the management. People always say hello. It's what an, it's just a, such an incredibly friendly event. It's not necessarily like going to a pro sports team where you're another person. It's kind of like you walk through the door and you're reunited with friends. It is time to head home though. Now I'm back home from the Tortugas. There was one thing I wanted to mention when I was at the game and I got sidetracked. The Tortugas inked a deal this week with Beijing Shogang Eagles from the National Pro Fast Pitch uh, League to play their games at Jackie Robinson Ballpark. So there are games that will take place when the Tortugas are not playing, and when they are playing uh, night games, the Tortugas, the uh, softball team, will play uh, earlier in the day and then clear up before the Tortugas are slated to start. And the field looked awesome once again. Uh, maybe one day we'll be able to get down onto the field and actually uh, check it out a little bit closer. One last thing before we go, 
I ran across an ad uh, late last year. I don't know what I was looking for at the time, but a sponsored ad came up and before you knew it, I had looked for something and I kept getting spammed with uh, the company and I got more and more interested in wanting to buy something from them. And this has happened multiple times with social media recently. I bought a bag that I'll get into some other time that I've been using all over the place in the parks. But this uh, particular item that I wanted to get, um, I ended up passing off for a little bit of time. And then right when baseball season started, they had uh, basically like a 50% off deal. So I bought a couple of mugs from the Thompson Mug Company. I think it's the Thompson Mug Company. And this video is not sponsored at all, by the way. It's not sponsored by the Tortugas. I paid my way into the stadium. Uh, it's not sponsored by Thompson Mugs or Dugout Mugs. I think it's Thompson's Dugout Mugs. Uh, but this is basically what it is. It is so cool. It's a 12 ounce mug. Um, it's a baseball bat that's been hollowed out so that you can put your beverage in there. You can drink a beer out of it, etc. One of the favorite mugs that I have uh, is actually a wooden mug that we got at the Renaissance Fair um, with uh, different writing burned into it as well. Uh, did like a, a graphic um, and you would think you know wood isn't really a great uh, method to drink uh, liquids out of but it, it works fine um, and these mugs are just fantastic um, this is the New York Mets uh, logo and then we have uh, the alternative I'm just trying to get these pieces of paper out of the mugs to show you but we have the uh, full New York Mets logo and you can personalize these mugs. Uh, they have different types of uh, graphics as well. Like you can get certain specific players and you can get your own names put into it, etc. for another charge. But um, it, these are going to be like my new favorite mugs. I smell it to see if I can get the wood smell. It smells awesome. Um, but it, it's essentially the, the barrel of a baseball bat. If you're a baseball fan, how cool is that? Um, I'm really psyched up about this. I wish they were a little bit bigger. I mean, but obviously, you know, it wouldn't be a baseball bat if it was bigger, you know, other than if you have kids and you had those gigantic plastic fat bats um, when you were a kid. But um, you just basically wash these as you would any other mug. Um, don't leave liquids in them overnight because you don't want the, the wood to swell. Um, and uh, they're, they're way cool. Thompson Mug Company dugout mugs. Um, if you guys are interested, I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not a sponsored person from them at all. Um, but uh, I can tell you, between these two things, um, baseball season's back. I am jacked up about baseball. And I am psyched up about the Mets. And I'm very much looking forward to getting out to uh, Met game over at City Field when we get back up to New York. So, um, very, very cool items. But that's going to do it for us for tonight. So thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. If you guys were curious what this jersey was, this was one of the alternate Tugas jerseys from last year uh, that was based off of uh, Talladega Nights. So it's the cat that was in the car with Will Ferrell. Um, you got the Tugas logo there and the me sponsorship. Anyway, good night, everybody.